What's good, YouTube? Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. It's been a long time, and we know we just got it's really, really what? busy. It's been what? Three weeks? Four weeks? Maybe three weeks. Hi! 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 But as you guys read by the title, we're going to be answering all the questions you guys all been wondering since Aiden was born. Please we asked you guys up. on Instagram to ask question, to ask us questions, basically like anything about like parenting or stuff about like Aiden's birth or whatever. Yeah. We're going to put Aiden down for this. We just wanted him to be in the intro. Next, say hi. Say hi, baby. Hi, go. Hi, go. Can you smile? Smile. Whenever he sees a camera or something, he looks so serious. Aiden! Most of these are based off of like Aiden's birth. Answer these questions like a month after, after he was born. born. First question, what was our initial reaction when we found out Bianca was getting induced? Um, you go first. Okay, so I my reaction, she told me she was getting induced, right? And then I was all like, Oh, this dude's farting. <laughs> My reaction was like, "Oh damn, she's getting induced." I don't know. I didn't know what to do because at the time I had caught COVID. Oh yeah. So when we found out, like we we weren't even seeing each other because he had a quarantine. Yeah. He had to be away from me for like. Three it was weeks. a little bit after the baby shower. Yeah. And then I had caught COVID. And then she, I wasn't seeing her for a while, and then she hits me with the news saying, Oh, I'm getting induced on Monday, and I was like, Oh, damn, I'm still positive. We were scared he wasn't going to be able to be in the room with me, and I was like asking everyone that gave birth recently, like, was he allowed, did they um, test him and stuff, and then they're like, no. But he, he was already quarantined for those 14 days before he was in the hospital with, you know, where yeah. he And then they said, they said, they were like, they're like, oh, you should be good if you're not symptomatic no more. Um, and you quarantine yourself for the 14 days. They're like, it's going to still stay positive, but you shouldn't be positive. Yeah. And I was like, all right, if you guys say so. Well, my reaction, obviously, I was freaking scared, guys. Like, I was tired of being, I had at least like two mental breakdowns. Like I, like, I had like three to four days to get situated with everything. So I had three days or four days scared. I'm not sure. Like the first day I had to go get a steroid shot on my butt and that hurt. And the reason why I had to get that was because Aiden was growing tiny and then he had to get his lungs developed before he got, before I gave birth to him. And then the second day I had to get the second dose of steroid shots on my butt. And then the third day I had to get my Tdap shot. So I was just like a wreck. Like I was like freaking trying to hurry up and stuff. And I had to such a the hospital bag and everything. And I was just nervous for everything. But Aiden's here. You don't know hold him. Hi baby. He's gonna he's smiling right now and then when he looks at the camera he's all serious. Hi! Hi! Hi Lou! Oh it's so hot in here guys. If you guys hear me sweating. Hi baby! Okay, question two. A lot of you guys are asking me how long was my labor. So I we checked into the hospital around 10 p.m. And then they gave me this pill to start like ripening my cervix or whatever. And then I was feeling like mild cramps, but it wasn't as serious. And but as soon as my OB broke my water, that was when the severe contractions. You okay? That was when the severe contractions was starting to kick in. And an hour and a half later, I gave birth to Aiden. So my whole labor, like from 10 p.m. to 1:44 p.m., was like 15 hours. My active labor, well when they broke my water was like one and a half hours so my it labor seemed like it, it seemed like it happened so fast my labor wasn't as long i felt like everything just went by really fast until this little baby was born okay so question number three how was ramon truthfully feeling throughout the whole labor process i'm interested about that one i feel like if i was you i'd have been freaking out like what do i do and like I said before, I'm pretty sure I explained this before, right? Yeah. At first I was fine, like the car ride there, but uh, the car ride there I was fine. I was trying to get her not to be nervous. Or no, or was I trying to scare you? No, you're trying not to make me nervous. You're like saying that my god is and stuff. And then, uh, um, what else? 
I was there for the As soon as we got there, as soon as we got there, then that's when I was like, oh shoot, okay. It's kind of scary. I started getting butterflies when we got in front of the hospital. And then when we went to the room, they basically were like, was like, okay, just basically sleep and everything. So I was just like, all right. Uh, He's like, oh. Not, I put in my head that it's not gonna happen till tomorrow, I guess. And then so I was just trying to sleep, but then I couldn't yeah. sleep because- Both of us couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't sleep because all you hear in the it's a dark room, but with a bright, little bright light, and then all you hear is beep beep beep. Yeah, because they're monitor monitoring my belly and obviously my heart and stuff. Now they're like, oh my gosh! But then when the baby, it was time when they broke her water and she started getting cramps. I was just I didn't I didn't really know what to do, and then uh, and then when they uh, told you to push or whatever. That's when I didn't know what to do because then she started <laughs> saying, Oh, start recording. She said, Start I for recording. Sure, I wanted like the video of me pushing, and I was so mad when they, like, I was in pain. And when they told him that I, um, they couldn't record, I wanted him to read my mind and say that, like, record on your phone and pretend you're taking pictures of me. And I just wanted the footage so bad. Like, I wanted to but see yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know what to do because I'm over here kind of scared and then I was all like, and then she's always saying record <laughs> but she's also saying call her sister or her family and then she's over here saying plug in the camera and then I was yeah, like what do you want me to do we can't do everything I was freaking out and, too and then and then on top of that she was like <laughs> expecting me to hold her hand no I didn't yes you did you're such no, a liar I didn't. you're such a liar she expected me to do all that and then it happened so quick though like I, I couldn't do anything. It was crazy. Like it all happened so fast. So question number four: How old were you when you got pregnant? Nineteen. I stated this in so many previous videos. <laughs> yeah, we said this so many times. Yeah, I was nineteen, and but um, I gave birth to him at twenty. Yeah. So she got pregnant at nineteen. I got pregnant at nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> what in tarnation? I'm just kidding. Guys, I didn't get pregnant. I can't answer this, but I am 19. I became a father at 19. He's gonna be 20, guys. I'm not catching a case. I didn't catch a case. What? That's 18 and <laughs> No, but, but we started dating when you were like, I don't know. Why are you putting this out there? <laughs> okay, question number five. Were you glad you didn't go through with the epidural or no? I don't regret not taking the epidural because, well, I was kind of scared when they said that I couldn't get the epidural anymore and I was already fully dilated, but at the end of the day, I still did it. But like when I was pushing, I just remembered, I was like, I was about to say I can't do it, but then I was going to be like, I don't want to say that. They're going to be like, yes, you can. They're going to be on me and stuff. So I just like, I just stopped thinking. I just wanted the pain to be over. So I just pushed till I couldn't breathe no more. And then they said Aiden was out. But I don't not re regret getting. Does that make sense? I don't not re regret getting the. I don't regret you not don't. getting the epidural. <laughs> How long did you push for? That's question well, number six. According to his pictures, because he was taking pictures throughout like the whole time I was pushing, I pushed for one minute, and I cannot believe that. What the heck? That's so one weird. One minute, dude. Like, That's how fast it happened, guys. Yeah. Like once she said push, that thing or Aiden was coming out. Yeah. You couldn't wait, huh? For real, wait. as soon as my Two water seconds. broke and then I just felt his head like pressuring on my leg. Like, okay, area. question number seven. Was Aiden a preemie baby? You can answer that one. You answer. <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> you know that. I got induced exactly at 37 weeks. So that's not pre like that's not premature, but he was growing as a preemie baby. That's why he I did get into I get that's why I did get induced. Luckily, um, I didn't answer that. I would have said yeah. <laughs> what? I don't know what that is. A preemie baby is like when they're um was born it? earlier than 37 weeks. I thought he was. It's just he was he was growing as a preemie baby. Oh. Um, um, I but thought he, he was wearing preemie clothes. He was. Oh wait, he was growing. He was growing. <laughs> It's a dreamy baby. I remember he, I could grab him like this, yeah, and he so would tiny. be like all the way up here still. And then now I grab him, I have to hold him like this, and then like he's pretty big. Like he doesn't look big, but he's big compared compared to what he was before. He's pretty big. No, look. 
Look at him, guys. <laughs> oh my god, why are you making that face? <laughs> Question number eight. How many times did you get peed on until your son wasn't sensitive to the cold anymore? Actually. <laughs> you can answer that. So actually, we thought it would, it's, how long was it at first? Uh, like, like he didn't, he stopped peeing on us like. Around one and a half months, I believe. Or yeah. And two months. Because three well, months, he, he already stopped doing that to us. Well, that's what we thought. But today, he peed on mama. I know. No, I don't think it was because of the cold. He just probably just peed. He doesn't get, um, he doesn't like um, cry anymore with yeah, he baby doesn't wipes, cry. the cold baby wipes. But every cry. time before that, he would pee. He peed on me so many times, yeah. like so many times. At the I, hospital, he, they, um, he already peed on him. Why you pee on me, huh? Huh? <laughs> Say hi! <laughs> so yeah, basically like one and a half months, right? Yeah, I believe so. And then until today, he finally peed. Yeah, so. he hasn't peed in a while on us and he doesn't cry to baby wipes anymore. Yeah, question number nine. Are you both still in college or you dropped out? Yes, we're in college. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Mm -hmm. I dropped out for a little bit, guys. Okay, it's not dropped out, it's taking a break. I took a break one for a little bit. Off. Yeah, I took one semester off, and now I'm going back next month. And so. yes, I'm still in college. I actually graduate with my associates in December, and then I'll transfer to ASU for my bachelor's. It's possible, guys, even with a baby, it's possible. Question number 10, do we live with each other? Hmm. hmm let me think about it. Hell no. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Of course. Yeah, he moved in. Um, he basically was living with oh, me. Oh, did we even since... tell you guys? No, they didn't. No. He basically been living with me since Aiden was born, but it wasn't official until the end of April. Until he actually, like, put all his stuff in here. Yeah. Because we were waiting for this room to be built. Yeah. Question number 11. How we really feel about being parents? Hmm. You didn't answer that one. <laughs> Just kidding. I think it's great. I love being his mommy. Like ever since he was born, our lives changed in a good way. Like, like regardless of all there, the there, there's nights. the there's the pros and cons about it, but at the end of it, it's pretty good. Yeah. Regardless of all the sleepless nights, guys, it's a blessing. Yeah, for it a will. Baby. It, it will get better. Also. Yeah. Like. The he first was crying month, a lot. The first month is like no sleep at all, but it pays off at the end because look at the little cute baby. <laughs> so he got yeah, the hiccups, it, guys. I think it's great. I don't regret it at all. No, I don't either. It, hi. When he, every morning is funny because every morning I, I'm sleeping and I open my eyes and then he's just there like mm. smiling. He's like waiting for us to wake up. Hi, oh, baby. Hi, oh, baby. <sighs> He has the hiccups. Question number oh, 12. What's been the hardest thing so far about taking care of a baby? Huh. Not knowing why they're crying. Oh yeah, like there was, what was it? The so other night, many nights. The other night he was crying and crying and crying. We tried to give him the bottle. We tried to give him the pacifier. We did everything, huh? We yeah. changed them. Yeah. We were wa walking him. He didn't want any of that. But, so we thought, he, we think he's teething because he starts like drooling and then he started getting a little sick. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, basically not knowing why they're crying is the hardest hard. part. It was also then, hard like in the beginning when he was first born because like sometimes he would just wake up and start start crying and none of us would know what to do. Like I would give him to my mom at this one point and then she wouldn't like, she didn't know why he was crying and all of a sudden like after an hour of him crying, he just stopped and fell asleep. It also gets a bit easier. Like, uh, yeah. like at first we would wake up to every little sound he would make. Like he could just be like, eh. And then we would wake up. Ah! <laughs> Hey baby! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> but yeah, he can make it like a small sound. We'll wake up every single time. It's really but scary being now, like now first we, time parent. It got easier because we know like his sounds. Like we know his cries. Yeah. Like, if he wants a bottle, how he cries when he 
he needs to be changed. And he sleeps throughout the night now. Like, yeah. As so. like when obviously like the first month it was just it was just him drinking every two three hours. But now we get some good sleep now. He sleeps the same time as us. Last question: What's the best way to calm your baby when he's crying? You wanna go? Put the pacifier in his mouth. You think so? I feel like that is because no, I feel like for, maybe I feel like him also. carrying him how he is like this. Yeah, he he'll automatically stop. He likes being carried like this, like like this. If you he carry him the other way, then he's just crying or going squirming everywhere. He squirms a lot. He moves his head a lot. He goes. Like he moves so much. He's like the first baby I know that moves so much. But when he was sick the other day, a good way to put him to sleep was we took off all his clothes because he was so hot, and then we put a wet rag, cold rag, on his head, and he just said, "Oh!" He immediately <laughs> and then he fell, fell asleep. asleep. That's because we also gave him medicine too. Yeah. He was sick because he had he had um, Hi, baby. he had shots the previous day. Hello. Hello. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, comment share, share, and, and subscribe. subscribe. Peace. Peace. We love you guys. Bye.